Once upon a time, there was a beautiful shopkin named Cinderella. Oh, uh, hi everyone. She lived with her wicked stepmother and two wicked stepsisters. I wouldn't say that we're wicked exactly. We just really dislike most shopkins. Cinderella? Oh, uh, coming. Uh, yes? The tea you made me is too cold. But, but I, I use boiling water. Well, next time serve me steam. One day, they were invited to a grand ball at the king's palace, but Cinderella's stepmother said she could not go. Grand balls aren't for shopkins like you, Cinderella. They're for ultra-rare shopkins. Cinderella was told to help her sisters get ready and do their hair and makeup, but when it was time to go to the ball, she was told to stay at home. Cinderella felt very sad, and she started to cry. <laughs> Suddenly, a fairy godmother appeared and said, Don't cry, Cinderella. I will send you to the ball. But Cinderella was so sad, she just said, But, but I don't have a gown to wear to the ball. The fairy godmother waved her magic wand and changed Cinderella's old clothes into a beautiful new gown and beautiful glass slippers. Goodness, they're beautiful. But, but how will I get to the grand ball? Asked Cinderella. Oh, well, I'll just use my magic smartphone and order you an Uber. It'll arrive in, uh, uh, approximately four minutes. Cinderella was overjoyed, and she set off for the ball in her Uber. Before she left, though, her fairy godmother called out, Cinderella, you must know this magic will only last until midnight. You must be home by then. When Cinderella entered the palace, every shopkin was struck by her beauty. No shopkin, not even Cinderella's stepmother or stepsisters, recognized her. The handsome Prince Taco saw her and was infatuated. He went and he asked her, May I have this dance? And Cinderella said, Oh, yes. And they danced and they danced and they danced together the whole evening. And then just before midnight, Cinderella suddenly remembered her fairy godmother's words and she rushed to go home. Oh, oh, I, I must... She cried, and she ran out of the palace. One of her glass slippers came off her foot, but Cinderella did not stop. She reached home just as the clock struck 12. Her Uber disappeared off to another job, and her beautiful clothes disappeared into thin air. Her stepmother and stepsisters arrived home soon after, and all they could talk about was the beautiful Shopkin who danced with the prince. The prince thought, I'm in love with that Shopkin. But I don't even know her name. But he had found her glass slipper. The prince said, I will find her. The shopkin whose foot fits this slipper will be the shopkin I marry. The next day, the prince took the glass slipper to every house in the kingdom. All the shopkins tried on the slipper, but it would not fit any of them. Cinderella's stepsisters tried on the glass slipper, but try as they might, it did not fit. Prince Taco saw Cinderella cleaning in the background, and he said, That Shopkin there, let her try on the slipper. And the slipper fit her perfectly. The prince recognized her from the ball, and he married Cinderella, and they lived happily. Wait, 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 wait. Marriage? Uh, don't you think that's moving just a little bit quickly? I don't know, Cinderella. I mean, that's generally how these stories go, so... Well, this is 2015, and I think you seem like a really nice Shopkin, and I'm definitely into going bowling sometime, or, or a movie, maybe? Perhaps the royal laser tag? Yeah, yeah, laser tag. That sounds more like it. All right, all right. Uh, so the prince recognized her from the ball and played laser tag with Cinderella, and together they grew to know each other at a speed that made them both comfortable. The end! <laughs>